it has changed a lot my life because now every now and then you get sick you come here they do dialysis but is it's a tough journey Are you in school? Yeah. no no i was about to join and then the disease came yes i was going to apply for kmtc yeah to do nutrition and dietics yeah. plants when it, I, when I have become more stable, I will join school. Yes. These are the words of Kevin Kiyoko, a kidney patient at Machakos Level 5 Hospital. Kiyoko, who had plans of pursuing nutrition and dietics, is now forced to undergo weekly dialysis at the Machakos Level 5 Hospital. For about, for about seven months. Yes. For about seven months, coming twice a day. Yeah. It's quite expensive because the fare from home to here, the diet, yes, it's it's quite expensive. Yeah. Being the seventh month since he was diagnosed, Kyoko feels if any amendments are made by NHIF, patients suffering from the chronic illness will suffer. Thus, calling upon NHIF not to reduce the cover amount. Mm, they should not because it is very expensive yes because now you look at other people they like me i pay fair sometimes you come and buy some things in the in the dialyzer it is quite expensive yes they should not yeah in my opinion they it should stay like that yes Mine it is chronic, yes, chronic kidney disease, yeah. His sentiments are echoed by John Mudike, a kidney patient in the same facility. He says that if the cover is reduced, patients will be forced back to the dark days and the outcome will be more death. Almost like uh, here, we have been struggling on our own, buying the consumables like you have seen. In a week, I usually spend around 4,200. Because heaven extension will go like 2,150. And you are to attend twice a week, like Tuesday, like me, I come on Tuesday and Friday. The NHF, when it provides the things, those con consumables, when they are brought by the ni management ya hospitali tunasitumia na sikikuja sikiisha no you are going you have to go on deep into your pockets and buy the things for the dialysis i can say the worst of it because i can understand from earlier times when people were providing themselves such commodities they were dying day and night they were selling their lands they were selling their value force just to with the stand or to get the facility like the dialysis. This time when this, the, the NHF tries to deny her such benefits, definitely we are going to, do, to go back where we came from and our patients who are less unfortunate, they will die like now they are dying just without when the count fails to provide, they are dying. Christopher Mutinda, a senior nephrology nurse in the facility, says that even the 9,500 shillings paid by NHIF isn't enough and it should be increased to 12,000 shillings so that it covers even the consumer bonds. Telling you, even the 9,500 is not enough because the consumer bonds are very expensive. And as we stand here, when a patient comes without the items, it is very pathetic for me to see the patient going home without getting dialysis. Because now, at this moment, like uh, all the consumables, if they have to buy all of them, they cost 9,000 shillings. 9,000. You know, the NHF is just giving us 9,500. So there are other items we have not counted. Even me, myself, I could be told to advise them 
I could advise them to increase the, that amount to 12,000. Uh, these patients have problems, the, especially those who come, who come from a poor background. They fail even to get bus fare to this place. And if they are told now to increase uh, the, 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 the balance of 3,000, it means that they'll, they, they'll end up not even coming to, to, to do the dialysis because if they increase the fare, the, the items, and uh, the, 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 the amount of money which is supposed to be paid, it will be very pathetic. Most of them, they will opt just to wait to, to, to stop dialysis, and they just die. So I see a situation whereby we are going to dark edges, very, very back, because those people are deciding to reduce. They don't know, maybe they were not there when the, it was being bargained for, the, for them to be paying the 9,000. They don't know how it happened the, that, they don't know how it was reached to that extent. Because like currently, right now, I cannot afford dialysis with my current salary. Because if I have to pay 9,500 per week, two twice per week, that's 19,000 per week, multiplied by four weeks, that's a lot of money. And I don't have that money. And assume now this patient comes from a poor background. The relatives, what I call me, they, they, they have uh, reached a, a stage whereby they see you as a liability. They can just re uh, stop funding for your dialysis and then you die. Yeah. So NHF, please, they should stop reducing the amount. No, I want you to. You know, we are in a county government. The county government is the one which is procuring all these things, the items now. And when the county government says that it has no money, now it comes to the patient to buy, to supplement. Because the patient cannot afford everything. They cannot afford everything. So whenever we are supplemented with some, so the patient chips in to buy some of them. According to the Ministry of Health, more than 4 million Kenyans suffer from chronic kidney disease with 10,000 of them in need of dialysis. Surprisingly, only 10% of the number can afford dialysis sessions.